Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Insane X Flunky here, and I decided to go ahead and uh, get up off my bed. Uh, it's kind of late, but I want to give you guys a, uh, a game today. So, uh, I'm here on Ghostcraft server. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a link of that in the description. Essentially, um, uh, there's a lot of other type of games that you can play in the server, uh, but I play the Ghostcraft section of it because I think is the uh, it's a pretty it is the best I guess <laughs> so uh, yeah it's actually a pretty fun game uh, when you go into Ghostcraft uh, you'll be uh, you select what world you want to go into and then you'll have this book here and this book will give you the uh, explanation of what a ghost is uh, it says it's essentially an invisible entity whose goal is to eliminate the humans by slicing dicing taunting and terrifying them so you have an arrow, which actually you don't have an arrow anymore. It's a um, uh, set of shears, uh, which essentially nanner poke. Uh, you can actually stab somebody to death with that. An axe, which is actually a sword now. So this has to be updated. Um, sword to deal damage and regenerate hearts. A gas tear to poison survivors. A magna cre magma cream, which is a grenade. Another star to blind and nauseate survivors, and a bone to taunt the survivors. And the goal of the survivors is to actually stay alive. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this one called Church. And uh, once you're here, you get to go ahead and choose one of these um, uh, classes here. I like using the soldier class, Oh, but I did not have time to choose. But I still ended up getting the soldier class, which is awesome. So, the ghost. He's not completely invisible, uh, although he is um, almost invisible. You can hardly see him at all, but uh, when you do see him, you'll see essentially just some steam coming out of him. So, hopefully I can I can get a glimpse of him here. So your goal is to hit the, go the ghost as much as you can, that way you will have the, ch the largest chance to be the ghost in the next round. So, um... Go ahead and get a splash pot here. These these here serve as grenades for me. So, oh, okay, he's around here somewhere. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I get five points for that. Not sure what the points really equal to, but um, I got the points, so whatever. Uh, although I don't think I dealed them that much. Oh, never mind. I guess I got 38.5%, which is pretty good, considering there's uh, nine survivors. So let's see if I can, uh, if I can not uh, be the ghost here, so I can give you guys a, a show of uh, what that is about and what it entails. So the game is going to start in a couple of seconds here, seven seconds. They typically are pretty quick games. Uh, some people like being the ghost, some people don't. I'm one of those that kind of enjoys it, so um, I am not the ghost, which is fine. I don't have to be. Alright, so I'm going to head downstairs and splash myself with some strength. And then uh, wait for the dude to come here. Okay, so that was his... Uh, okay. Where the heck is he? Oh, he's getting damaged by... Oh. Do you see that? The ghost dropped those things, so I'm not sure where he is at this point, but I'm assuming he's somewhere up here. Oh, and PvP is enabled, so that means that uh, you can actually hit survive your uh, fellow survivors by accident, and uh, you can actually kill each other. So that's one of the aspects of this game, is to uh, be sure you don't kill your team members, or at the very least, uh, be sure that you're not getting hit by your team members. And as a ghost, uh, you actually want to provoke those kind of things uh, to make life just a little easier. So if you can get a couple people to kill each other, that would be um, something optimal. Alright, come on. Where are you? Come on, ghost. I'm not seeing where this one is. This one's a one of those ghosts that takes his time. I'm gonna raise my volume really quick. Does he really see something, or is he just throwing to throw? I 
thing he was just throwing to throw. Okay, Chapman tables are pretty much useless. Anyways, I like the soldier class. I think it's a. Uh, I think it might be an overpowered class, but yeah, I guess you could argue uh, that there's no range for it, so that can be kind of bad. Well, actually, there is range, but it's very limited and uh, inaccurate. And but, however, it's very powerful. So, jeez, come on. Where is this thing? I don't like being too close to my teammates because then. We start hitting each other by accident, and then things get ugly. Come on. Let's hope he jumps down on me so I can whack him in the face. Whack him in the face. Um, jeez, come on. Oh, my. Okay, he is taking people out. He's doing it very cautiously. And I say that because I typically... I typically find these guys pretty quickly. I can typically spot them. I think he threw something there. I'm not sure though. He is on the bridge. Okay, so... I'm going to try to make my way up to the bridge. Oh. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, did I get him? Ah, sweet. S sweet deal. 21% chance. Okay, so... Let's give this another try. Well, you can try some of these other ones. Some of these are... Uh, only reserved for members of the server. Uh, I'm, since I'm, I just do free to play, so I can't. I'm not going to show you guys those. And quite frankly, I don't like playing archers or anything like that. Um, considering I think that they're severely underpowered. At least when I used to play this game a lot more when it first came out, uh, the archers were very underpowered compared to uh, compared to the soldier. Maybe that's not the case anymore. Uh, but um, I haven't really had a chance to play around with it. So I want to do well, at least for now. So, all right, come on. Oh, ow! Oh, and in this game, you don't regenerate hearts at all. So, unless uh, one of these guys, which is a healer, uh, he can regenerate some of your hearts because he has a uh, the potions, splash potions of healing. So that's the only way you can regenerate anything. But typically, they tend to keep it for themselves. So I'm... I'm all loner up here, so I'm assuming he's going to come after me. Oh, he's down there. I do see him. I'm not sure if I even got a hit off on him. Watch your fire. I don't think I got a hit on him. Alright, I'll go ahead and uh, continue the recording, but I'm going to just go ahead and fill you guys in once I'm actually uh, a ghost. Alright, so the next game I actually got off pretty good, on a pretty good start. And so here we go. I'll try my very best to explain how this stuff works. So if you hold the sword and, and try to do well, <laughs> also, because it's kind of difficult to do. Um, if you hold the sword or the shears and you right click you notice on the bottom you have that green bar um, where your experience should be what that does is it gives you uh, the power to kinda like move quickly or kinda like jump up like that so I'm gonna go ahead and use the flashbang here which is I believe it's a gas tier and what that allows you to do is um, jump up so here Oh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna die. Or I guess not. If you hold the shift button, that actually helps you in charging your jump so you can jump a lot higher if you're on a shift. So I wanna try to jump to that guy over there if I can. 
And I missed him. Just by a bit, though. I'm hoping that he sort of kills himself. Which he did not. I'm hoping they kill each other. So, when they're in this sort of area here, they typically tend to kill each other. I know I could be not using the stairs, but I am going to use them. Conserve some energy there. Okay, this guy is pretty much dead. So, um, oh my god, I'm pretty much dead here. Oh, I don't think you could take fall damage either. Yeah, cannot. I'll try to fall right on top of him. And hopefully he doesn't get a hit off on me. He did not. So that gave me a little bit of, of, uh, of health back. That's definitely a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna try to land up here. And hopefully this guy doesn't see me. I don't think he's seen me. How do you do that? That he's dead. Or she is dead, whatever she was. So that kind of I think that took a little bit of damage from me. I'm not absolutely certain, but I think I think at this point there's only one person left. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I just wanted to waste those things, which he which he did. That's exactly what I needed him to do. I needed him to waste. Okay, I want to try and land right on top of him, which I didn't do that time. Not sure where he went. Not sure where he went. Oh, there, there he is. Okay. Not sure if he notices where I am. Come on, come on, I can get you. Alright, come on, come on. Let's not get excited here. Come on, come on, come on. Dead, you're dead, come on. Oh, the match ended. God dang it. He was like so close. <laughs> he was just so close to death. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I uh, I wish they had a timer. I guess that's one thing that I wish they had. Because I'm pretty sure it didn't really show how, how much time I had left. So, oh well. Um, Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like down there. And if you're new, subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you all next time.